Hello everybody, my name is Kieran from the Checkpoint, the only gaming channel that eats cheesecake in the morning and today we're going to be talking about all the score streaks in Call of Duty Advanced Web Warfare because yes, score streaks are back. You can capture domination flags to get scores, you can get assists, that will all count towards your rewards that you can use in the game to kill more people which is awesome. But the first score streak we're going to be focusing on today is the UAV and we all know what the UAV does. This shows enemies on the minimap, it sweeps, every few seconds you'll be able to see their positions. Now this costs 400 points. Next one costs 500 points and it's the Orbital Care Package. You just uh, We've had it before in loads of Call of Duties. It, you get a random kill streak reward and also a chance of it being the map streak now. In Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, all the maps have a kind of specific kill streak similar to what we've seen in Call of Duty Ghosts. So um, it could be kind of a sort of certain airstrike or something. We don't know yet, it hasn't been announced, but uh, it's, it has a small chance of being that certain map kill streak. Uh, the third one is a remote turret, it's very similar to a sentry gun that we've seen in previous Call of Duty games. It can be manually controlled or it can just be left to do its own thing and it can also be upgraded as can every other kill streak. but I'll get into that later. The fourth kill streak is called the XS1 Vulcan. Now this is a manually controlled burst of high powered directed energy deployed from space. Now this sounds as if it's going to be kind of like your predator missile, hailstorm missile, just your regular airstrike um, that you can use very, very useful in game modes like hardpoint and domination to get the enemies off a certain capture point or kind of objective zone. The fifth score streak is called the Warbird. Now it's a remotely piloted uh, aerial attack vehicle. Now this is going to be kind of similar to your attack helicopter. Uh, whether you can pilot it or just leave it to do its own thing, we don't know. Uh, you can probably pilot it and just uh, sort of shoot enemies from it. It's going to be like a weaker version of a chopper gunner, maybe. Or maybe it's just your, your uh, remotely piloted, just regular attack chopper, which will do its own thing and uh, maybe you can have a choice between the two. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, the sixth one is called the XS1 Goliath. Now what this is, it's a manually piloted um, suit of armor, advanced arm with heavy weapons. So in the trailer we saw kind of that big robot with kind of the wrist mounted chain gun. This is going to be exactly the same thing. It's going to cost you 800 points and it's kind of going to be like your, almost like your AGR that you saw in Black Ops 2, kind of your robot. However this guy is going to just going to be a massive robot pilot person and it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, the final one is called the Paladin. Uh, this is a manually controlled weapon system uh, on board an orbiting Paladin gunship. So this is definitely going to be kind of your uh, your kind of chopper gunner. You can probably shoot missiles and just bullets at people, and it's just going to rain death on the enemy. Now, the 07 score streaks are the only score streaks that have been confirmed so far. If more score streaks are announced within the game, then I will uh, definitely uh, show you guys and update you with all the updated score streaks that they announce. If they do announce more score streaks, this may be it. Now, the reason I'm saying there may be only seven score streaks is because you can actually upgrade score streaks. That's right. So in this example, um, this is the UAV, and you can attach certain modules to it. And you can only attach one. So you have your base UAV, which costs 400. And uh, for example, the threat detection will show all enemies for 10 seconds following activation. So it's kind of kind of be like your orbital visa or your blackbird, where it shows all the enemies. Uh, it's basically going to be that, or you can for 150, uh, you can have extra assist points. So this is very very interesting. Uh, obviously, your base cost of your UAV is 400 points. If you just want the UAV like it is, like that. They can leave the UAV as it is. However, if you want the threat detection for that extra uh, 10 seconds uh, where it shows every enemy, like your Blackbird or Orbital Visa, then you can have that for an extra 300. So that means your UAV will require 700 points for you to be able to obtain. However, it will be stronger. Now, all these upgrades are available for every single kill streak. I haven't got upgrade details for all of them. Um, extra assist points in this case, pretty self explanatory. And support, uh, we don't know what that is again. The trailer was yesterday, so we don't have all the information. As information is released about all the potential upgrades that you can have for all the score streaks in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, as well as the map sp specific score streaks, that's a difficult word to say, um, I will let you guys know about it and make another video about it all. So it's very cool that you can upgrade kill streaks. Um, obviously, they'll be harder to get, they'll, you need more points to get them, but they'll be stronger, so it allows a lot of custom customization with your score streaks. Now, another thing that you can do with score streaks is co op. Now, Say if your uh, your teammate gets a chopper gunner, you can actually join this. No, you can't steal his kill. The only thing you can do is just tag the enemies and hide them for it. So the person who joins the kill streak will not get any points or any kills. They'll just get assists and um, they'll just hide their enemies to make the person who's controlling the kill streak. It makes it easier to use for them. So if you look here in the example they used. Uh, Showfield on the right, he is the one controlling it, he can shoot people, he can kill people. Condry on the left, all he can do is highlight people and tag people 
and uh, he can just get assists and he gets points from tagging enemies as well. So that's very cool. Uh, it doesn't mean that someone can just hop in your chop gun and steal all your kills. That would just be ridiculous. It doesn't mean that. It just means they can make it easier to use for you, which is pretty cool. So if there's a new person who wants to use a score streak and not sure what it feels like, they can just hop into something and see if they like it or not. And then if they like it, they can use it in their correct class for the next match. So these are all the score streaks in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer so far. Again, as I said, if there are more score streaks that are released and any other upgrades that we know about uh, that are released within a few coming weeks, I will definitely make a video and let you guys know about it all. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already. Follow us on Twitter at Real Checkpoint. Leave a comment down below uh, saying your thoughts and what you think about these uh, new features of the score streaks, about the co-op score streaks, the uh, upgradable score streaks, and uh, all the other jazz about it. Are you happy that score streaks are returning? I definitely am. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.